LU factorization has two steps, the factorization phase of A, and then the actual solving phase, which involves the forward substitution for Y, and then using back substitution to solve UX equals Y to get X, Y, and Z. And we saw that in my previous example. So after I did a little bit of math and research, I figured the cost of the first part, the factorization phase, to be this, where T is the clock cycle time. And this has a time complexity of big O of N cubed. Now for the solving phase, if the forward substitution part is this, which has a big O of N squared, and the back substitution part has this, which is also big O of N squared, then the overall time complexity of the solving phase is this, which also has a big O of N squared. Since the factorization phase has a time complexity of big O of N cubed, that lets me know that it's a computationally expensive phase. So the benefit of using LU factorization over something like Gaussian elimination is that once you found the factored form of A once, even though it's a pretty high cost, you can continue to use that to find different right-hand side values like the B and A X equals B at a more moderate cost. So if you have R number of different Bs that you have to find during the solving phase, this makes the time complexity of LU factorization big O of N cubed plus R times N squared, which is about big O of N cubed. And this is the total computational cost of doing LU factorization. Now, I went ahead and got the total computational cost for Gaussian elimination too. And after I compared the two, it seems like LU factorization and Gaussian elimination actually have almost identical computational costs. So after I did even more research, it's really important that only in situations where A can remain fixed while the right-hand values can change is when it's statistically seen that LU factorization is actually more efficient. An example of this to prove my final point that LU factorization is in fact more efficient is finding the inverse of a matrix using both algorithms. So for LU factorization, you only need to decompose A once, but then you need to do forward and backward substitution n times for each one. And this is the total computational cost I got for that. For Gaussian, the forward elimination and backward substitution both need to be done n times. This is the total computational cost I got for Gaussian. Clearly, the dominating n to the fourth means that for large values of n, Gaussian elimination is actually really expensive. Thanks for watching.